It's very, very good to see you all tonight. It's so awesome that you guys made it. It's, uh, I see a lot of new faces. Thank you for coming. We really appreciate you all tonight. And um, we're about to hear some great, great things that God has done in some people's lives. And, but before that, I want to just uh, <clears throat> tell you four main points why we have to bring a public testimony. And first of all is uh, testimony gives glory to God. Um, Jesus once said that give God what belongs to God and that thanks, thankfulness and glory, those are two things that belong to God, to nobody else. We have to be always thankful, thankful to God. And when Jesus uh, healed 10 lepers and only one of them came back to thank him, remember that story? Uh, Jesus uh, told him, you are, you are made whole. And so when he came back to thank Jesus and give glory to God, Jesus told him, now you're, you've been made whole. Not just uh, cleansed from leprosy, but made whole. And the second reason is uh, testimony. Public testimony defeats the, de the devil. In uh, Revelation, it says uh, that... We overcame the enemy by the blood of the lamp and the word of our testimony. We all know that the uh, devil already been uh, over, he was overcome and he lost at the Calvary when Jesus died on the cross. But today, as we testify to other people and give glory to God, we remind him that he, is con he, is con he continues to lose every single day in the lives of people. What a destiny to be a loser. <laughs> and the third point is uh, testimonies. They encourage other people's faith. We have to give a public testimony because somebody will hear your, hear your testimony and the person may connect themselves to that and, and find themselves in a similar, similar situation and say, if God did it for that person, he can do it definitely for me. So the sense of hope and faith rises up in people. And the last is fourth why we have to give public testimony is it opens the door for more miracles to come. Testimony is like an apple with a seed inside for, the, for more and more apples to come. Okay, and right now I want to call a few people for a uh, few testimonies. A uh, first person can come, please. Let's clap for her. Please tell us your name and where are you from? Lena Tunnicliffe from Pasco. Okay, Lena, um, what was the problem that you were struggling with? Um, for a long time, I had really bad acid indigestion and acid reflexes, so my throat would always hurt and feel like I was going to throw up, but I never did, so it always just was a constant pain. For how long did this uh, pain was going on in your life? Uh, probably about two months, and it just progressively kept getting worse. Okay, where have you been in search of solution for this problem? Have you gone to doctors? Um, no, I just tried... Um, trying taking Tums and antacid sort of pills. So Did those help? Only temporarily, and by temporarily I mean like an hour or so. Not really. And then pain, pain came back, right? Yeah. Okay. So what happened after that? What happened? Uh, how did you get healed? <laughs> um, well, I've been hearing a lot about the testimonies of other people, and... I really wanted just to be done with this, so I went and asked Vlad if he could pray for me, and Vlad and you prayed for me, so. <laughs> what happened afterwards? Probably about maybe three seconds afterwards, I felt healing, and I didn't feel that pain anymore. So, <laughs> let's clap for Jesus. <laughs> so how long it's been since uh, we prayed for you and the pain was gone? I think last week. So it's been a week. You have no pain whatsoever? Mm. Nope. Okay. Praise Jesus. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, let's hear another testimony. Tatiana, please come over here. Please tell us your name and where you're from. I'm Tatiana. My name is Tatiana and I'm from Tri-Series. 
Great. Tatiana, uh, what was the problem you were struggling with? I had a problem on this ear. I couldn't hear very well, so I was kind of like deaf, only on this ear. For how long uh, was it going on? Um, maybe for six months, maybe. Six months? And so you could not hear at all? And not at all on this one, but only at night time. At night time. Okay. Uh, where have you been in search of solution for that? Um, well, I didn't go to the doctor or anything, so I didn't do anything. Yeah. So you Okay. And so what happened? How did you get healed? Well, we were praying at our home group uh, like two weeks ago, I think, and we had the problems. And we said, I said that, that I had this problem with my ear, so Anya, she prayed for me, and then that's how I got here. Wow, this is so awesome. One of the examples of what happens in the home groups, guys. We have to attend home groups. <laughs> Great, so hold on, hold on. <laughs> How long it's been uh, since your pain gone? Oh, like two weeks, I think. It's two weeks. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Tatiana, so much. And now, uh, Trisha, would you please come? Hi. Tell us your name and where you're from. I'm Trisha from Lana's Basement. <laughs> Tri-Cities. Tri-Cities. Okay, great. So, Trisha, tell us a little bit. What was uh, the things you were struggling with? Um... I had financial issues. What was what, what, what were the issues? I had no money. <laughs> um, no, I was I was being um, attacked. I I would get tickets upon tickets, and um, I ended up in like three thousand, four thousand dollars worth of debt. So, uh, what happened then? How long were you struggling with this? Since I graduated from high school. <laughs> And it's been? Jeez, uh, put me on the spot. Um, about five years since I graduated from high school. Okay, uh, so, so what happened? How did you get breakthrough? What happened? Tell us a little bit. Jeez. Um, um, a few years back, I got prayed for um, during, I believe, a night prayer. Um, and then that's when I stopped getting pulled over by the police. <laughs> Um, and then after that, slowly, I, my financial situation began to change, and I was able to um, find a job and pay off my debt. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, and recently, uh, I think in the middle of last year, my, my five-year-old baby blew up my car. Um, and then I, the, it seemed like the financial problems was coming back again because, you know, I had no car and then I didn't really have enough money to pay for another car. Um, and then, uh, I got, I believe I got prayed for again and the next day, a wonderful blessed couple <laughs> decided that they were going to listen to Jesus and give away their car instead of sell it <laughs> to somebody. So I ended up getting a free car. Awesome. Well, thank you, Jesus, and we thank you, Trisha. Uh, and we have one more testimony. If Asha, would you please come? Let's clap for Asha while she's coming down here. She has really, really awesome testimony. So uh, tell us your name and where are you from? Asha, Tri-Cities. Asha, okay. Um, what was the thing you were struggling with? Tell us, please. Um, I was diagnosed with lupus, and it was attacking my internal organs, and my body was rejecting all medical aid. For how long have you have you had this uh, lupus? Um, I've had it all my life, but it was got really serious um, in the last couple of months. Okay, uh, where have you been in search of solution from this sickness? Um, lots of doctors, every doctor I could find, specialists, all over the all over the place. Okay, uh, I know you mentioned to us when you went to doctors, so doctors gave you how many weeks to live? Um, it was in December. They only gave me until the end of December. Wow. And what happened after the prayer? We actually had prayer line here, prayer with anointing water. And what happened afterwards? Um, afterwards, I've noticed a change in my health. Um, I've actually been able to return to work, and I will eventually be able to return to school within the next couple of weeks. Wow, this is just awesome. Asha was not supposed to be alive last week, right, doctor said? And she's standing here, and now she actually goes to work. 
This is awesome. Thank you, Asha, so much. Thank you.